It's fantastic. It's here, man. You know, we've, we've all waited for this moment for a long time. Some of us longer than others. Uh, I've been on this show for, uh, for three years, four years. Um, and other people have been for 10 or 12. So it's a massive moment, obviously, long, long anticipated. Um, and everybody's really excited. Can't wait to get it out and have people finally see it. What sort of reaction have you had from the real Halo heads? We, you know, th there's there's a lot of anticipation. People are very excited about it. There's a lot of different opinions about what should be done, what shouldn't be done. One of the things, you know, we always say is there's as many um, opinions in the Halo community as there are Halo fans, right? And so you have to know that going in. What are the challenges in pulling something like this off? There, there are many. There, there are so many. Um, first of all, it's just such a massive universe. You know, the mythology um, of of this Halo universe has been being established for 20 years. It's it's broad in scope. It's huge. It's a massive space epic opera, right? So the visuals are are incredible, and they have to be incredible. Um, so it's all green screen work with incredible visual effects. That's a challenge. Uh, the armor obviously is a challenge in, in getting that thing brought to life. Um, there's just so many challenges, but uh, you know, when you're gonna play uh, a guy like that, uh, you would expect it to be a huge challenge and you wouldn't want it to be any other way. You do not need to be a fan or even know anything about the game, do you, to enjoy this television version of Halo? Um, I, don't, I don't think you have to be, no. I mean, it's a, it's a TV universe, you know, and so, so hopefully we're, we're introducing a, a whole new set of fans to the Halo universe. People who have never played the game and, and never, never had any interaction with it before should be able to come to this and, and learn about the Halo universe in a new and exciting way. And that's one of the things I'm the most excited about because over the last three years I've become a huge fan of the Halo universe and the mythology that they've established. So uh, for me to get to bring that love that I've found over the last three years to a whole new set of people is one of the great pleasures of this for me. What is it like to be part of such an exciting uh, new Halo adventure as the TV show? Um, I've been working on the, I've worked on the games, and so I've been working on this project for 21 years at this point, and it, to see it culminate this way is overwhelming and such a joy, <laughs> it's such an overwhelming joy, yeah. I hope that people who love the game will love this, and I hope that people who don't know the game will think this is a great fun sci-fi story, so I think we appeal to both fans and new fans. How excited are you to be part of this uh, incredible new show? Oh, I'm, I'm so excited. It really is like a dream come true and to be something as big as Halo is just absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. I play Quan Ha and uh, she is a survivor um, and a freedom fighter. She's really trying to fight for her people and fight for what her family believes in and um, trying to yeah, follow her father's footsteps. We don't really see a lot of uh, young, I think, characters who are just so strong-minded and just kind of speak what they want and, you know, just kind of say how it is. I think we have to mute ourselves a lot of the time, so it was actually quite freeing, yeah. 
you don't need to be a, a know anything about the Halo world, do you? No, the stories, the books, the mythology, the Halo lore, like it's just so dense and gritty and there's so much to bite into. Like that itself was just so engaging to read and, and do all the homework and all that kind of stuff. I was absolutely blown away by how magical this Halo universe is. It's more than I can fathom, I think. It's, it's mind-blowing and it's so exciting and I don't think a day goes by that I'm not like newly excited about this. And it's been two and a half years and I'm still newly excited on a regular basis about, about doing this. Tell us who you play on uh, Halo. So Miranda is a scientist. She's the head of xenological research and development within the UNSC. And so that kind of means that she researches and tries to understand the Covenant um, and why they're doing what they're doing and how to defeat them, basically. So this is a new character, isn't it? it Outside is. of the Halo game universe. So uh, maybe you could set the scene. Tell us who she is. So she's a Spartan. She's a super soldier. And she's been augmented when she was six years old. So she is kind of indestructible. And uh, the four of them, the four Spartans, work together to try and save humanity. Describe it to the fans. What can they expect? They can expect a bit of everything, to be honest. It's so thrilling, it's exciting, it's lots of adrenaline, but then there's also a really beautiful emotion in it and proper human stories. Tell us why fans around the world, particularly internationally, you think are going to enjoy Halo. I think internationally everyone will enjoy Halo because it is such a massive world within it. It's got something for everyone, it's got, it's got everything in it. So I think it will reach a wide spectrum of people. What does it feel like to be part of something like this? It's amazing. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's insane. It's incredible. A dream come true, really. I mean, this is the kind of stuff you dream of as an actor as well. Um, to be able to play such complex characters. And I guess we did a lot of training as well. So there was all that kind of side of it, the physical side. Um, that was kind of a whole new aspect of my life. Fitness that I'd never entertained before. <laughs> but suddenly I had to. <laughs> There was lots we had to learn militarily um, and just the physical capabilities as well, you know. As We obviously wanted to have the physicality of a, of a super soldier, but also as the actors we needed to be able to, to handle the costume. Um, the armour weighed 35 kilos, um, which is half my body weight, so we had to be strong as well to, to take that. Why do you think fans around the world, even in Britain, even in, Britain. Even in good old Blighty. <laughs> Even in right? good old Blighty. Yeah. Um, we, uh, Halo has got some incredible and overarching stories that are just applicable. You know, it's set obviously in you know 500 years time or whatever, but it, its themes are, are still as relevant today as they are any other time. I think it will just be an exploration of humanity, of um, yeah, of, of people, and to see what makes them tick. And I, I just think we can all get involved in that, and fans are going to love it hopefully. What is it like to be part of a, a show, a franchise like this that has been so eagerly anticipated? Well, it's, you could say it's a lot of pressure because um, there's so much expectation. But um, I think, you know, it's, it's, it's an exciting um, opportunity to bring all of these incredible characters and incredible storylines. Um, there's so much to draw from. So, so it's uh, really exciting to just bring it to life. Jacob Keyes is a character that a lot of um, people will know. So, so there's a lot of, um, again, expectation on, on, on how, how this character is going to come to life because we don't know much about him in the game. What is it like to be part of a show that's been, you know, so eagerly anticipated? It's surreal. Uh, I can't, you know, kind of stress that enough. Really, it's uh, it's surreal. You know what I mean? Halo. Uh, from when I started playing it as a kid in high school, it's um, you know, it was kind of ahead of its time. It was kind of revelatory. Um, and so when the opportunity came about to be a part of something like this, you know, one one never really truly believes that it's possible. Um,
um, or indeed a reality. So, you know, it's, uh, it's a huge privilege, a huge honour to be a part of the show. But it's a privilege, I think, to be a part of this. And, you know, like you say, so eagerly anticipated for fans of Halo, for the gaming community, for fans around the world. Yeah, it's, um, it's incredible. I can't talk about a lot about my character because there is like a little surprise with my character, but I can only say that there are two sides to her. What is it like to be part of such an eagerly anticipated show like this? Yeah, I mean, it's based uh, on a video game, so there are a lot of fans waiting for it. Um, it was fun for me to be part of something so big and adventurous and with action involved. we always thought of it as we want feature film level production value and so we treated everything as if it was we were making a feature film and that craftsmanship and, and, and that attention to detail and that quality is something that's also part of Halo and part of something we put into everything we do so to have a cast and a crew with like the level of talent that they did and the passion to be on for that really hard ride of making everything look really really great was amazing and yeah I'm so I'm so proud like I'm so proud of what we pulled off it's this giant universe and we have so many different kinds of stories to tell and, and creating a way for people to come in and learn and love the Halo universe that's different from the games is something I'm really passionate about what were the challenges of uh, bringing this to life as a TV show from uh, from the game. Well, taking the game and turning it into a television show pre presented myriad challenges, each of them exciting. Uh, first of all, the world of, of cinema has to exist and feel right, feel real, versus in the game where it's about the gameplay. So you're sort of building the world around the game, outside the game, making it feel like you're part of the game, but part of the more part of the ethos and sort of the the, the basic idea of what the canon and the lore have to offer. So we infused every frame of the film with everything we could that was Halo, that was Halo canon, and then told our story within that parameter. The hope is that for diehard fans, there's lots of rewards and fun and treats and things to make you feel like, oh, this is Halo. And for the casual fan or the uninitiated, there's lots of to enjoy just as a show standing on its own. Maybe you could describe what fans can expect to see when they first watch the show. Well, I think, you know, we try to start the show grounding it in human beings, letting you know this, this is going to be a story about humans and humanity, but then we quickly, you know, start with a bang and give people what they expect from Halo, the action and the excitement and the feel of being in the Halo universe. The sounds of the battle will be familiar to those people who play the game, for sure. I really hope that the Halo fans and, and the uninitiated will come to this and enjoy it on its own merits as a really powerful story of a man trying to find his own humanity. And then get, they get to see the world of Halo that they love in a cinematic way every week. So we're excited to show everybody. What is the pressure involved in bringing that together? There's a lot of pressure when you're dealing with an iconic property like Halo and so many fans and that's that's our job and that's first and foremost that we do not compromise the integrity of the original franchise. And so for those fans to enjoy this experience, elevate the experience, but also make it something that people that are not aware of the you know gaming franchise can enjoy as well. Pick a favorite moment for me. My, my favorite moment is in the first episode when Master Chief just drops down from the sky in the middle of this battle and just takes over. It just I get chills every time I see it. <laughs> hey, what's up, this is a 20 year old plus uh, gaming franchise and there's a tremendous body of work there and story and characters and uh, as we did a new series we wanted to make sure that we did that we did right by it in terms of the music we have new new themes and new sounds and new worlds and yet we have another we have the older uh, we have we have the, the, the time honored sound of the uh, of the game in there as well and that's been a real balancing act it was so much fun i mean the microsoft people and amblin and everybody is so great so
I feel you put your arms in the air, like just an arm, a fist. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. And action, guys. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. And then hold that. Oh, my God. I never do the opposite. Ready? One, two, three. Action. Going to the left. Three, two, one. Action. Thank you.